Alright lads, so today we're going to be reviewing Silver Inform, Kyle Lafferty, plays for Riza Sport in the Turkish Super League, he's 6 foot 3 tall, he's right footed, he's got high medium work rate, a 4 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Looking at his in games, his standout stats are his 89 volleys, 84 strength, 79 shot power, 79 penalties and 78 heading accuracy. We've also included all the upgrades over his non form as a comparison for you, so you can see each individual stat increase of all the stats. So you can always pause it now if you want a close look at any of his stats. So this is the team we were using in Final Lafferty in, just the basic cheap gold and silver Turkish Super League team with Lafferty up top the lone striker. So now onto the gameplay so you can see how he was performing. So as you've seen in our team, we were trying him as a lone striker. As he does have the great height and he has a good jumping as well. So I thought he would make a good target man up on his own with decent strength. And he does win a lot of headers up top, I've got to say. Now, he isn't the fastest player in the world. But surprisingly, his acceleration is not too bad. Just his sprint speed is quite poor. So it isn't really up to scratch. Don't try and sprint too much. Don't try and help pace your defenders. As you will rarely get any joy with Lafferty, he will get caught a lot by most defenders. So he's dribbling as only average and dribbling is possible with Lafferty. Did have a little bit of joy with his dribbling but he does have poor agility which really does not help his dribbling. He really does turn slow like trying to turn a bow and he is a big man as well which doesn't help. So try and use his strength to protect the ball and then lay it off to your teammates. Don't try and do too much with Lafferty. Don't try and take on a lot of defenders else you'll be a, it'll be an absolute disaster. Now shooting wise Lafferty is only average. He's not had a massive shooting boost. So you've got to make sure you're in a good position when you're shooting don't try to ping some long rangers he is not very good on his long range shooting and you really do have to use his shot power more than his finesse in the box he really does need that power to get the balls home now we did manage a special moment though cross comes in diego heads it back into the danger zone and then lafferty just unleashes this overhead kick totally out of the blue was totally shocked that he actually tried it and actually got the goal as well so you've got to love a player who can get you an overhead kick and surprisingly it was Lafferty and a surprisingly athletic finish for such a big man up top. Now he does have his four star weak foot as well so decent on both feet, did only manage one on his weak foot though, was sticking to his right or stronger foot a lot of the time. But it is the same, he does only have two star skills though so you are just limited to your ball roll which you can get by with. But is a shame, I would really have liked three star skill at least on a player. And despite his low passing stats, it wasn't all that bad passing wise for us and did actually lay on a few assists for our team as you'll see now. Did uh, actually assist, I think it was three goals for our team, so not bad creatively, even though he does have actual poor stats on paper. Did actually do a decent job at passing in game. So did make a decent target man up top and was decent in the air as well. With his height and jumping, he was able to get up and grab a couple of headed finishes as well. So good in the air, good target man, not too bad at all from Lafferty. So let's have a look at Inform Lafferty's performance stats. So in seven games, he managed to get nine goals and three assists. All his stats are on the left, goals are on the right. Position map shows you where goals are scored and assists were created as well. So overall, we're giving Inform Lafferty a solid 8 out of 10. Now, as we said, does make a decent target man, especially if you want that lone target man. Does have the height and strength. Low agility does affect his dribble in a bit. As you've seen, we did get a couple of dribbles out of Lafferty, but don't try him too often, as we said. Will be a great addition to a silver Turkish Super League team and would make a cracking partner for Inform El Kabir in that sort of big man, little man strike force. You got the big man knocking it down for your little man, the little man's the agile player, the big man's the uh, the powerhouse up top. Finishing is okay, nothing special. Is an aerial threat though with his height, managed to get us that overhead kick as well, so managed to get that great goal. So finally, we're just going to leave you with Inform Lafferty's positives and negatives. Does make a decent target man style striker and is fairly cheap. Unfortunately, that is where it comes into the problem. It is a pain in the ass to get as well. With these players priced at a low price band, they just get instantly bought and they're so hard to come across on the market. Hopefully, in FIFA 16, they come up with some way of uh, improving the way we can get players. I've not a clue what they're going to be doing. It was hard to find. We have waited a long time to get Inform Lafferty and try him. But solid player, would recommend him, especially for a Turkish Super League team, especially with Elthorm El Kabir, would make a good partnership up top. 
So hopefully you did enjoy this review. If you did, please leave a like. It does help out a lot. Try to grow as much as we can. We try to do the most in-depth reviews as we can on YouTube. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Loads more videos to check out. Loads more to come as well. So stay tuned for all them. Cheers, lads. Thanks for watching. And see you later.